Now, the last section we're looking at this week is ethical considerations and digital citizenship in particular. So there are a range of issues as we explore various trends in education and digital culture that we need to be mindful of. Of course, yes, it offers great opportunities to do things differently and to enhance education, but there are also potential pitfalls that we need to make sure we're understanding of so that we can try to minimise or negate these potential uh, problems with digital technologies. So the first is a broad concept of digital citizenship, which is essentially taking responsibility for how we act and behave and conduct ourselves with digital technologies. And of course, this is an essential aspect of education, particularly K-12 education, as we guide students through um, appropriate behaviour. But it extends beyond K-12 in terms of um, educating adults in what is acceptable and unacceptable. But it also has an implication there in terms of um, informing adults and children about the dangers of unacceptable use of digital technologies, such as scams and viruses and malware and, and those things, where others may use it unethically and it may impact upon them or on their families or their society or their businesses and so forth. So this all falls within the umbrella term digital citizenship. And I've given you a reading there that's specific for schools, but some of the principles there apply to a broader context as well. Now, the next concept is around data privacy. We explored that a little bit before in terms of the opportunities for uh, big data, but one specific element of that is around data privacy and ensuring that we have responsible use of data. And in schools, that's quite contentious. Of course, traditionally schools have had free reign over the use of data that they collect about students. But now as we have increasing focus on data privacy, there is going to be increasing um, limitations placed upon how schools can collect and use data. One of the tenets in research is that you can't collect data of individuals that could be harmful for, to them. But if that was applied in schools, collecting any assessment data, which can generally be used in a harmful way, restricting students' opportunities and potential for advancement or access to higher education, um, would be considered unethical. So different frameworks explore the use of data in different ways. And we'll discuss and explore that in some detail. Now, the next is a contentious issue around screen time, particularly having an impact upon early years and um, K-12 education at the moment, where there is concern that students are engaging with digital devices to the detriment of other aspects of their lives. Um, so that, again, is something that we'll discuss and explore in some depth, but consider if the same principles were applied to students reading books um, in terms of their lack of physical activity, their focus on a single um, device uh, for long periods of time to the detriment of interactions with others and physical um, activity. So it's not just one-sided um, perspectives here. We want to explore it from all avenues. And the final one is around misinformation, where digital technologies are increasingly having the capacity to misrepresent information. Uh, now, we've had that for a long time with forgeries and things like photoshopping, but now with AI technologies, there's potential to do the same with video and other aspects that are causing concern again about these processes. And we'll discuss that. And the final one is back to the digital divide in terms of the aspects of equity around digital technologies and digital culture to ensure that everyone in our culture, primarily through education, which is our particular focus, can have an equitable contribution and access to the opportunities that are provided 
by digital technologies. So these are again some of the issues that we're going to discuss. Um, I'd like you to provide some responses to these into Teams in preparation for that. And I look forward to exploring these again with you in the tutorials.